what I'm going to do now is create a new HTML5 document. Uh, just to be clear, it's 2012, and from here on end, I, I'm I'm always going to create HTML5 documents as my default document type, even if I'm not going to use um, brand new HTML5 features. It, it doesn't matter. HTML5 is backwards compatible, meaning that everything I wrote in HTML4 and XHTML1, um, it's going to work in HTML5. So at this point in the game, I'm, I'm certainly not going to use those older versions. I'm just going to use HTML5. So let me get into my IDE, my Integrated Development Environment. And I basically use two different ones. Um, oftentimes I'm using Cyberduck and TextMate as my uh, code editor and my FTP uh, client. And I'll also use the W3C online validator to make sure that my code is clean and all that. Um, or I could use a WYSIWYG editor that, you know, there's a love-hate in the industry for Dreamweaver, but Dreamweaver kind of has all of that stuff in uh, packaged in there for me. Uh, but at the same time, it adds a lot of could, it could potentially add a lot of bloated code. So um, I I know the code that I want to generate. But I'm using Dreamweaver just to automatically generate the code I want, and I'm going to remove any crap that I don't want. So um, let me do just that. I'm going to fire up Dreamweaver, and you'll notice that that the way I set up my Dreamweaver is very bare bones. And before I even create a new document, I just want to make sure you guys set the same preference with me uh, if you want to, you know, work the way I do. Is if you go to Dreamweaver and Preferences, uh, under the New Document section, it'll have the default document type. And I changed mine from the, I think it just said 4.01 transitional by default. I changed mine to default to HTML5. Um, not that you can't change it when, you, when you're working with Dreamweaver, but uh, it's easier because now if I see this splash screen, I just click HTML5 or just a new HTML document and it already gives me um, the beginning of a bare bones uh, HTML document template and if you notice uh, I removed everything from my Dreamweaver um, interface and because I just kind of wanted this window in itself over here um, and I ended up saving this workspace for me but essentially all the panels the property panels to uh, at the bottom over here and all those CSS panels that are often on the right side and on top you know what? I didn't want any of that crap. It just kind of annoyed me, uh, honestly. So I brought it down to a bare bones editor. Uh, it has validation. It does color coding, and uh, it has that code hinting. I love that code hinting. So um, this is it. I'm liking it. So let's start by just kind of looking at the the, the fundamental structure of an HTML5 document. Now, a couple of things have changed. For one, we don't have that huge, long doc type declaration. We just basically have uh, a nice doc type HTML. And you notice that they don't say doc type HTML5. Uh, you know, they kind of left that out on purpose. They're saying, you know, this is it. This is HTML. That's the doc type. When it becomes HTML6, well, you don't want to have to change the doc type. So we're just using doc type. Okay, so that's new from... Uh, previous versions of HTML. Uh, the actual HTML tag, the root document thing, no, it's still the same. We remember this guy from, from previous versions. And the same thing with our head tag, head, body. So, so far, everything's the same. Looks a lot like HTML4. Uh, so, l the one thing that I want to add to my HTML element is the language attribute. Um, and this is just going to define what my what the language is for this document. Very helpful for um, search engines, and it's going to be helpful moving in, uh, going on in the future when uh, translation technologies get better. That you know, someone in China is going to their translator is going to won't have to figure out what language it is. It'll figure out its English based on your language tag and quickly uh, translate it. I mean, that's just one example. I'm sure a lot of more functionality is going to happen in the future and uh, this is just a way to prepare for it. 
Um, in the head, right after the head, you see the, f the other thing you want to do is make sure to have a char set, a character set defined. Now, what this does is it tells the server what kind of characters are going to be found in this in the document. It's, uh, it's not going to say what kind of uh, characters it's going to render on the page. It's when it's putting it through its processor, its HTML processor to render. Um, it's going to be UTF-8 character set. Now, I don't want to go too much into this, uh, so you could kind of just Google UTF-8 and probably find the Wikipedia give you an idea of what it is. But um, the point is, you're going to want to put in this uh, meta tag. Now, title, I'm doing Space Invaders, so uh, here we go. Put my title in there, Space Invaders. Uh, businesses, oh, whoops, I don't want to do that quite yet. Uh, so far as business as usual, uh, but now let's let's add two other uh, pieces to it. We'll add a meta description and a me and the meta author, which is going to be you know uh, me. So let me start with meta, and let's do name and description. See, this is what I love about uh, Dreamweaver, uh, and then content, and it's going to be. Space Invaders. Whoops. Let me let me move back a little bit. Space Invaders revisited. I don't know. Um, okay. And then what we could do here now is just close that out, and we'll do another meta tag, and do the same thing. Name, and then author, which is uh, oh, yeah, yeah. That's exactly author. Um, content is going to be. Dragos Bogdan. Okay. And now let me save it to my desktop. Um, let me create a new folder called Space Invaders Project. And then I'll. this is going to be index. And there we have it. That is the start of my HTML5 document.